Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Bomb Writing Guys with a gameplay commentary. This time I'm going to be recommending you guys what is a solid game capture device to use. Now do note there are tons of products out there to capture video from you know multiple devices. Now nowadays, since we're all using HDMI cables, there are a lot of the game capture devices come with HDMI ports. If you want something to record something on your older systems, like something like the original Xbox, the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, you're going to need something else. But for now, let's talk about the current. Let's, let's talk about now. So I've been using the, I've used both the HD PVR2 from HodgePodge and as well as the Elgato HD60 uh, just recently and so far the Elgato HD 60 blows the HD PVR 2 right out of the water It's it's really nice. It's smaller than it. It's like really it's smaller than the HD PVR 2 It's really simple and the fact that it's just reliable I've been recording so much footage with it and it's just amazing It may be a little pricier, but you're paying more quality with that because the HD, PV, uh, the HD PVR2 cannot record in 60 frames a second, only 30 frames a second. So the Elgato HD60 can record in 60 frames a second at 1080p. So ergo, on a quality wise, the Elgato takes the win for this one. And nowadays, streamers on Twitch, as well as YouTubers, we basically use the Elgato HD60. Like they recently came out with the Pro Edition which is like 200 bucks and it's an internal card for a computer but it's got a little bit of extra features on it just a little bit and I plan on buying it for my computer so I can record some awesome gameplay footage for you guys out there so as such you know it's I'm not gonna lie this is not an expensive hobby this is not a cheap hobby if you buy cheap you know what you're gonna get cheap you're good, you know. You buy what you get, basically, and in this, in nowadays for YouTube, you literally can't go cheap anymore. It's like back then, yeah, you could have, and you can slowly, you know, climb up. But it's like no, you got to start, you know, swing out, you know, swing out from the get go, basically, and it's hard. It's hard. I'm consuming, but you know, having better equipment makes it really good. Like I know some YouTubers out there. They have some great potential, but they're limited by the equipment that they use, and, it's, and it sucks to see that happen because it's like, come on, it's like, you want them to do better, but it's like, the equipment they use, it's like, I don't blame you, this shit sucks! <laughs> so, mm, it's an annoying aspect, even for, like, I never imagined myself getting this far with the equipment I have, basically, it's like, damn, I'm really going all out with this shit. I could have, I just could have, I could have used the money to spend on other things, like more games, but no. I like making YouTube videos. So, as such, you know, I, I, again, if you're serious about this, the Elgato HD60 is a clear winner. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Elgato HD60 Pro, unless you really are that damn serious and you've got some little technical know-how because you got to install it on your motherboard on your desktop computer. Still, though, it's definitely worth a buy. I highly recommend it myself. You know, the HD PVR2, while it's still good on its own, it's just, again, 60 frames a second is definitely a clear win, especially nowadays. You know, it's, I recommend to people, your YouTube has to be in HD and has to be, you know, if you want to be make a really good impression, 60 frames a second. So that's it for today, folks. If you have any questions about game capture devices or opinions on it, post down there in the comment box. Don't forget to hit that like button and remember to also subscribe. And this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blog. And now to remember, stay geeky, my friends.